Okay, so the topic is promoting literacy for all people has the most significant impact on achieving gender equality and equal opportunity for all people. That's the topic. So do you agree with that? Promoting, promoting literacy of the people uh, have more Im um, impact, significant ha impact. Sorry. Has the, yeah, has the most significant impact, most significant impact. So, yeah. yeah. So, do you agree with that? Uh, okay. Yes. Um, okay. I, 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 I like to choose A. Okay. Okay. I put you on A. Thank you, Rashid. And I see that Rajano has joined us. Rajano, are you going to participate? Hello, everyone. Hello. I just reached home, but uh, I'm around. If I can talk, I will. Don't put me in any group. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got yeah. It. Got it. Whenever oh. I, I can join, I will talk, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's go okay, ahead. You are welcome. <laughs> let's, let, let's go ahead and officially start. So today is April the 28th, 2018. The topic today is promoting literacy for all people has the most significant impact on achieving gender equality and equal opportunity for all people. The teams we have on Team A, <clears throat> we have Mary, Tofiq, Christina, Rashid. Team B, we have Moyu, Habib, Ibrahim. Team C, uh, it's Johnny, Saif, and CS. And for listening, we have Amadeus, Sharam, Maggie, and Rajano. Did I miss anybody? I think I got everybody, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and begin with Team A. So uh, on Team A, Mary, uh, oh, we lost Mary, where did she go? Okay, well, that's not good, okay? That's not a good start. Uh, so, and again, I remind everybody, please make sure your microphones are muted. It's very, very important. Uh, since we are recording this and we want to try and maintain the highest quality that we can. Okay. Um, so let us go, since Mary is not here, we will go to Tofik. Tofik, tell us why you chose Team A, please. Tofik, are you here? Tufik, are you here? Okay. <laughs> Tufik, are you here? All right. We will go to. We're not. We're not. We're not doing too good so far. We will go to Christina. Christina, are you here? Christina? Hello? Oh. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Can you, can you please begin? Uh, sorry, uh, could you please um, give me a few minutes to uh, arrange the idea? Okay, okay. Well, I tell you what, let's do something different. Let's start with Team B, okay? <laughs> All right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, Mo Moyu, you always have something to yeah. say, Moyu. You have no problem saying anything, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we'll begin with Team um, B this time. Go ahead. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I'm not crazy, just I, I wanted to say something, yeah. Let me start with this kind of stuff. Uh, I think when you wanted to, to address that kind of stuff, uh, the literacy programs are, are very important, but they are not the only one. Especially in Africa, you can you can you can just you can expect that just equipping equipping the women with literacy with how to write and read something like that, and expect them to go up and up and be equal with a woman. Because already, or, or, uh, already there are some challenges, constraints, which prevented them, which prevented the women 
from getting the same equal, the same opportunity with 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 men. So you need to develop, I think, uh, practical steps, practical comprehensive policies about or toward a women empowerment, not only just the uh, uh, focus on only one one that kind of self like like uh, getting a political participation here in Africa, especially in Somalia, in parliament and uh, even in ministerial positions, we have a designated or a designated positions for women, a percentage where in the parliament at least 30 percent of the of the uh, parliament cities uh, should 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 set aside for only women. Men cannot go there. So, participation and uh, it's so important if you wanted to get them into the uh, if you wanted to make them equal with a woman, with with men. If you want to, to empower the women so that they can have the same opportunity with men. You need that kind of stuff like political participation. Also, in many countries in Africa, what we have is that they, they introduce the, uh, policies, uh, gender-sensitive policies, a uh, policies which de deliberately are uh, designed to empower the women. Like get, uh, they, what they have, they, they allow the women to have their baby and breastfeed in at the workplace. If you are a, a company or whatever you are, and, and have a women, women, women employers, and you have to give them that kind of stuff, like allow them to have their baby at the workplace, bread, uh, bread, 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 feeding them. Also, whenever they, they they give birth or something like that, I forget the term, but you have to give them like uh, two, uh, two months or four months of of just it, uh, off the work so that they can. Relief that so that's the, the, the that's the deliberate gender sensitive policy where those uh, policies are designed to address those kind of concern. So you need those kind of policies also or laws, whatever it is. Also, in my in places like in Africa, the problem the women have they, they are not independent. They they are not independent because they they don't have their own income. They should be they dependent on the man to provide them. And that, uh, that, 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 that thing put the women in a position where she, can, she can't challenge a higher position. So you, what they do, you have to create, uh, you have to allow them economic participation. You have to uh, just uh, try to entice them or encourage them to, get, to go to work, to have work, to have their own income, to earn something so that they could have their own decision on a very important matter. So you need those kind of stuff like job creation, what they call economic participation. Let the women go and earn something to be independent. If you, otherwise you will be a beggar and beg, beggar has no choice whatsoever because you are, if you are a beggar. So those also, I think it's very important, not only one literate policy. Also what they have, they have, they, they, they have, we have to educate women about the social problems they face, like having a children. You have to give them the information and education they need if and when they, uh, to have a children. If they need, you have to tell them that. And how? You have to tell them that, that uh, they plan, I said, plan parenting, something like that, so that they can have the job, also they have, if they wanted to have a baby. Also, in many countries, in, my, in Africa, we have the problem they call it FGM. FGM is so widespread, and many organizations, and almost almost every government in, in every state in Africa, they believe that's so that's terrible. So you have to educate about that, how to protect themselves from that harassment or that kind of treatment. So also you have just the education about the kind of, uh, you have to give them the information they need, like if they want, uh, how they can obtain or gain their rights, uh, what they have, what they have to say, at what place, and also, you are, now, nowadays they say, if you look at, uh, to, to guarantee, to get or maybe guarantee the top position, you need an skills and education, training and education.
So at the, at the, at the university level, they say women are, are, are not like the men. There are fewer women at the university than men. So you have to uh, educate, you have to create or generate the, the programs of, of policy which uh, put and train them into the high skills so that they can become the top, the, the top managers and something like that. If they get that position, then I think that kind of gender equality, uh, the gender problem will disappear because the, she is your manager, you have to accept. Also in Africa, we are... Uh, okay, okay, uh, okay. wrap up. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, wrap. yeah, yeah, okay, okay, sorry for that. Okay, but well, hey, 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 yeah, okay. also in Africa, the, the way we live is we are the community at the community level, at the village, we are tribes. So in the tribal position, the high leadership position in tribe, only men can get those positions. If you want women to be elevated, then you have to introduce policies where also women can be the tribe leader so that the, in the future she can get those high positions. Thank you all of that. Sorry for that. Okay. It's my, okay. Yeah. okay, you did a good job, though. You did a very, a very, very interesting. Uh, did a good uh, job. Let, let's... By, the way, by the way, I'm sorry to interrupt your conversation, but I think I need to leave. Thanks okay. for this. Uh, Bye, okay. 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 okay, thank you, Amadeus. Okay. Bye bye. Enjoy. Bye bye. See ya. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go to Imad and Jamie. Did you guys want to choose a team, Imad and Jamie? <laughs> Okay, um, A is like for literacy and B is against literacy for, uh, or, or uh, against, I'm, I'm for literacy actually, I'm for, I'm well, for well, literacy. Well, it's not, no, it's not for literacy, it's promoting literacy for, yeah. you guys need to look at the topics, oh. I am. Promoting, hey. yeah, I like to, uh, promote, promoting literacy, literacy is important. Yeah. Well, no, no, it has the most significant impact on achieving gender equality. It's not that it's not a, it's important or that Yeah, yeah, I, I, I has, think so. I think has, so, yeah. Okay, so I'll put you on team A. Okay. Mm -hmm. Imad, how about you? Would you like to join? I agree. I agree. I agree. So I'll put you on team A too, okay? You can you can stay, Imad? Wow. <laughs> okay, That's good. Okay. So let's go ahead. So again, thank you so much, Mo. You very well said. I have a lot to say uh, based upon what you said. I thought it was really good. Um, let's go now on team A. We Mary, we lost Mary. Uh, Tofik wasn't able to speak. Uh, Christina is having problems with her reading machine. Uh, Rashid, you are here. Yes, yes, I'm here. So, why don't you tell us, please, Rashid, why you chose Team A? I suppose, as you know, so there is um, there's uh, there's a saying in English that education is the backbone of a nation. Um. Napoleon Bonaparte is the I everyone knows about knows uh, knows him uh, as the greatest um, a great emperor uh, in the world. Um, I mean conqueror, yeah, I can say. He once upon a time told that give me an ideal mother, I will give you an ideal nation. And um, if um, uh, Women are equipped with education. They um, they will be aware of their rights. They will be um, they will have skill. Um, I mean, they will access. They will have access to all sort of information, and they can easily get proper training within short time how to do their jobs. In of in environment, um, family and official environments, and without education, not only women, any uh, marginal, um, any marginalized group or party, cannot break the glass ceiling. I mean, if you are um, not good, uh, well educated, you can promote yourself to a certain position, but after that, if you are not equipped with education, your um, efforts will have to be ended. Um, so that's why I um, think that um, if women are 
are uh, literate, they have literacy, um, it will uh, help them uh, to to re read the, uh, it will give them opportunity to read books, uh, to write there, and to they can easily divulge their their thoughts, the, they can put their thoughts into writing, uh, uh, and through that way they can convey their messages, what they like, what they don't like, what the, what they feel about the society, about the nation, what what they need, um, they can easily, um, um, I mean, exchange their, I mean, they can easily um, if, express their views through those things. So, uh, but without education, it is not, um, it is it is not, uh, uh, I mean. Um, possible for for them and that's why um, I don't think any option of having education or literacy because literacy is the primary stage of education without literacy you cannot be educated because you have to uh, read books you have to um, um, you have to understand what the what the read what what, what um, the writing understand the writings on the book the messages on the paper. It, it is not possible for anyone. So I uh, that's why I think it's very much logical to think that without education, no one can prosper in life, and no one is equipped cannot be equipped uh, uh, to uh, um, uh, to get their rights in full, in full, I think. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Rashid. Good job. Good job. Really good job. Thank you. Very well done. Uh, real quickly, uh, we'll see. We've had some more people join, so we'll quickly see if we can add them. So we have uh, Khalid. <laughs> who, yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Would you Would you like to join a team? Um, are you talking about the topic of yesterday? No. Yeah. It, it, okay. So the topic today. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. The topic today. I'm gonna encourage everybody to go to the website and look at the topic. But the topic today is promoting literacy for all people has the most significant impact on achieving gender equality and equal opportunity for all people. That's the topic. So if you believe that literacy is the most important thing or has the most significant impact, you would choose team A. If you believe that it's important but maybe not the most important, you would choose team B. Uh -huh. So which one do you think? Um, oh, I would have time to think about it. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, and Somalia, the same thing. Would you like to join, Somalia? Okay, she might be listening no, right now. No, thanks. I okay. To. okay, no thanks. Okay, so you're just going to listen? Okay. Uh, Jira Karn, how about you? I'm fine, thank you. Would you like and to join a team? You? I'm doing good. Would you like to join a team? Okay, up to you. Okay, I can. What team would you like to join? I don't know because I'm late. Okay. <clears throat> well, I, I tell you what, why don't we, for right now, why don't we do this? Why don't I just put you guys for listening right now, and then you could tell us what you think after we finish the debate, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think that's better. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, yeah, and I and I know it's not always possible, but if, if possible, if possible, I would really encourage people to be here on time, because that way they can make sure they understand the topic. I know it's not always possible, but if, yeah, if possible. yeah. Okay, so let me go. Let me see. So that was Rashid. So good job. So Christina, are you back? Uh, yes, I'm back. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, Christina. Wait. Let me go to back to Team B because we started with uh, Team B. So are you, are you here? Yes, yes, sir. I'm here. So why, why don't you tell us why you chose Team B, please? Well, uh, 
today we have got an interesting topic. So, uh, uh, dear moderator, I want to say something about the uh, negative side of of this topic because we, we don't have to be agree uh, with this topic. So that's why it's the bit. Uh, right now, like uh, our uh, previous speaker said that uh, we need to like study. We need to study. We need to know our rights, and I respect that. But you know, we, I, I don't uh, like agree with this this thing that uh, he said. We have to study. We have to read. We have to read all the time. It's it's not a really really a big fact because you know if you look at some uh, Asian country, you cannot be you cannot study all the time because we have a lot to do uh, so that's why it's really important uh, for some of the countries which which countries are developing so um, like uh, you know uh, so first of all I want to mention some some uh, some other things that would be uh, that that would be uh, also most in interesting fact uh, that we have to follow besides uh, significant uh, like you know literacy so uh, because because we're human beings, so we have to be moral, we have to be kind, and it comes from our hearts, not like from uh, books or not from uh, school or colleges. So uh, we have to be moral from our hearts because we are human beings. We have to help each other, and uh, it will help us to be uh, to to realize uh, the equal opportunity for all the people, all the gender, and uh, you know it will enhance our uh, everything. So. I believe that it is really important to be moral besides, uh, you know, literacy. And also, um, you know, we have to give uh, proper value to uh, women works because uh, here is a big important issue here that we have, uh, I mean, you know, uh, equal empowerment for women. And uh, it is really, really significant and, you know, like a uh, uh, big concern nowadays because most of the countries hasn't got the, the opportunity, and uh, we have to we have to value we have to value this uh, this thing, and that's why we have we need to value women, uh, you know, just give uh, give give proper value to women words, and uh, like why I'm saying this because uh, uh, you know uh, besides that also women women uh, you know uh, needs to learn some basic things besides uh, like. Uh, study or reading books because in this year it's a modern era we cannot say, say, say that we have to study uh, inside your home all the time we have some knowledge knowledge regarding our modern technology like um, learning computers uh, driving or like uh, like uh, you know like um, making some uh, more uh, I mean good knowledges uh, over over uh, anything like uh, we can also like increase our language level like we, if we uh, know a lot of languages then we can have more opportunities to work uh, in, in a lot of areas so it is really important for women to uh, think about and uh, you know uh, and also uh, the, the, the also the most important thing here I want to mention that uh, you know I live in Asia so the problem is here. Uh, we have a lot of problems regarding child marriages and sexual harassment. And uh, you know, when I'm not in proper age, like uh, before 18, we have got a lot of problems regarding child marriages. Like more percent, or like uh, around 50 percent, child uh, are married before 18 years. So it is a problem for for the you know equal empowerment of of women. And um, we have to increase. We have to like decrease this this uh, level. Uh, besides literacy, obviously, besides study, and also you know just uh, we 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 have to be matured before having some children uh, in a family. Because when we are like uh, 15, 16, or 17 years old, or like uh, 20 years old, we are not that much matured. So when we will have child in this age, so what will uh, let, let our children learn that uh, they will they they will pursue uh, in their future uh, in our modern world. So it's really important to be to to focus these topics uh, also, uh, and also like uh, the the other problems like violence, like uh, you know just uh, 
uh, like also like uh, we need to uh, you know raise some aspiration for uh, girls and uh, their parents also because uh, you know obviously it's really important to have a like intelligent parents uh, in our family uh, which will uh, inspire us to be creative to be moral to make ourselves uh, you know uh, some uh, some uh, you know just uh, uh, like fo follow gender equality and uh, obviously equal opportunity for all peoples. So that's that's something that that I want to say. But yes, I respect that uh, uh, topic. That obviously we need to promote literacy, and that's what our our modern country, modern modern world, modern world is following. So obviously, uh, this is this is something that uh, we need to follow. Okay, okay, well done, Habib. Good job, very good job. Uh, very, very interesting what you said. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let's go back to team A. So, Christina? Thank you. Are you ready, Christina? Yes. Okay, go for it, Christina. Um. For me, uh, literacy or education is the most important part in our life um, because um, when we have opportunity to go to school, well, wait for me to close the door. Because uh, when all of, when um, all of us have opportunity to to go to school, um, and uh, we, uh, we we uh, we we can um, we can have a um, variety of understanding about everything in the world um, from. Um, from your country to foreign countries, and through the through through the education, uh, we can um, uh, we, we 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 can know what what is right or wrong, and uh, and uh, um, wow, and uh, uh, through it. We, we we can uh, we can have uh, uh, the we uh, we we can uh, give the um, we we can uh, we we can give ourselves the correct decision about the equality gender in uh, all over the world and I think uh, that's all about my idea. Because for me, the topic uh, today, I think uh, it's a little bit, um, yeah, that's all about my <laughs> Okay, all right. Thank you, Christina. Yeah, yeah oh. for me, I prefer a new topic to this topic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. Well, you know, it's not always about the easiest thing to do, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Well, no, you gave you gave some good points. I think that you gave some good points. So so thank you and good job. Okay. Thank you. So let's go to uh back to team B. Ibrahim, why did you choose team B? Um actually I don't choose team B, you choose team B. <laughs> well, why did I why did I choose team B for you? <laughs> But uh, I, I I like it also no um, because team team B um, has a little bit uh, challenge more than team A. Um, you can th think um, more more than it, you know in, in far point. I mean. um, we we know as well uh, literacy is is important in our uh, life. Uh, and uh, without it, you, you cannot uh, learn and uh, study anything. We, we agree about it. 
but also it is not most uh, significant uh, uh, because we we um, sometimes uh, can you see for example many many people are stores in the world and have talents uh, both colors and uh, have a lot of success in their lives and uh, also cannot read and write and they cannot even do it but they have a talent uh, and they achieve the most of success in this area and also we can uh, we can see many things many things about it so we agree uh, for learning is uh, most uh, important, but also uh, practical life and uh, and be successful in this area also uh, so important to, to have this experience. We we also uh, sometimes we can read and we can write, but uh, we cannot work well and we cannot have experience. Uh, in something in, in your career, for example, but many many people have experience in practical and even cannot do research a lot uh, or uh, read, don't read a lot. But his his hands are uh, in the work more more than others. It's my summarization of my summary. Okay, okay. No, you did a good job, Iram. You did a good job. And, uh, I, you know, I, I well, well, I have a chance to speak later, but you did a good job. Uh, let's go back to Team A. So we have two more people on Team A, then we'll go to Team C, then we'll open up for a general discussion. So Jamie, tell us why you chose Team A, please. Alrighty. <clears throat> well, I think you know literacy is important, not just for you know, it is important for general quality. I mean, everybody needs everybody needs to learn how to read and write. Um, it does open up more opportunities um, just for, for men and for women. And also, it, also for world quality. I mean, if you're in, in, if you're in a, a country who uses a different alphabet whose language you can't read, um, uh, you don't know. If you, if you're ever able, if you learn how to be literate in that language, uh, you will get more, you'll be able to, to work around. Also, it will it'll make you happier, I think, to be able to read, write, and articulate yourself, and so that people can understand your thoughts, and that you'll become uh, <clears throat> a lot more, a lot more knowledge about the world around you, and about uh, about life, and and all all things that are positive in the world. So yeah, I think men and women should learn how to read and write because it would make a a, a happy medium for for the both of us. I'm done. Okay, 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 thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. I had to unmute my mic. Thank you so much. Um, okay, good job. Uh, Imad, you are the last person for Team A. So, Imad. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? We hear you perfectly. Yes. Oh, that's good. Okay, hello, everyone. So, I choose Group E simply because, let's start because uh, literacy, the word literacy itself, doesn't mean always just to know how to read and write, but it means also just uh, in for, uh, a knowledge about a particular subject or topics or uh, in general. It means the, you have a lot of information about one topic. So, and this is a keyword. Literacy is a keyword for everything. Everything you, you want to achieve, everything you want to promote, everything you want to defend or, or to, to convince others with. So you need this word. You have to be literate. You have uh, to have a lot of information. And uh, in this topic, we have to, uh, to greet uh, or two big ideas about gender equality and uh, uh, equal opportunities. Let's start from uh, equal opportunities. When we are talking about uh, equal opportunities, when you are asking for equal opportunities in your society, for example, uh, let's take as an example of the, for example, the job, asking for a job. So in this case, we have to, when we have, when we are asking about equal opportunity, so at least we have uh, to have the same 
literal level, which means we are uh, we are com you are competing about uh, a, a post, so we have to we have to to have uh, the same level of literacy. It means we have all the information about that post, about the the job that we are going to to perform or to do. That's why the literacy or promoting literacy is a very a keyword that helps people achieve the same equal opportunity. Since you have a, a good literacy, so you are able to ask for the job, you are asked for the equal opportunity as you, as the other members of the society. This is a very important. So when, when we are talking about promoting literacy, it means we are promoting and preparing people for the same opportunity, for the same job, for the same qualification, equality in general. And in order to have a gender equality, and we have already discussed this topic in previous debates, so this to achieve this equal uh, gender equality, it means you have uh, already you already supposed to have information about what is this gender equality, what does it mean, how can we achieve this, what are the the, the aspects that we have to concentrate in order to, to achieve the gender equality. And this all depends on the literacy. You, can know, you cannot know if you, if you don't read, if you don't write about this topic, in order to convince other people, so you have, uh, you have to write. Your writing has to be very, very, uh, to convince other people, it means you have to be good at, at writing and in reading at the same time, discussing, having a lot of information to say, the, the argument to say, this can be gained or can be uh, achieved through the literacy, promoting literacy. Encourage people to read, to write, to discover, to look for information wherever it is. That, that will help you a lot to convince other people that literacy and without literacy, without information, without education, we can achieve nothing. And as we know all, someone said, if you want to destroy a society, you have to stay with the system of education. And if, if you want to build a strong, a coherent society, you have to concentrate more on the educational system. When the education is a key word. It's very important to achieve everything in this life. Everything depends on education because, as you know, we all go through the process of education, then we achieve, then we achieve goals in the future. When we put our objectives in front of us, before we achieve this, uh, uh, these objectives, most of the time, I don't say always, but most of the time, we go through the process of education. Through education, we gain a lot of information that will help, help us achieve those objectives. It can be different in different fields, in different aspects of life, but you have to concentrate on literacy. When you promote for literacy, you promote for a, a, a very advanced society, a very, uh, uh, we can say that successful society, successful people, and, and this can help us also ask for the equal opportunity and can promote the idea of gender equality. And that's why literacy is very important. And it's a keyword. I always consider literacy as a keyword to achieve everything in this life. And thank you very much. Okay, well done. Very well done, Iman. Good job. Thank you, Ari. Very, very good job. Okay, so we finished with everybody on the teams. Uh, and I want to say welcome to Hiroki as well. So Hiroki will give you a chance. We'll give you and the others a chance to speak when, when we're finished. So welcome. So uh, Johnny, we're going to go to Team C. So you were, I, uh, we don't have uh, say, yeah, before. Oops. And now before going there, I have on a question. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. If you have a question, go ahead. Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, let me say this. I think in general, we all agree that literacy is very important for all human beings, whether it's opportunity or whatever it is, empowerment or something like that. But with cultural and other barriers we have 
in, in, in Asia and Africa, maybe in other countries. How do you think that only literacy can, can, can get the women just into the same opportunity as men? How do you think only literacy can do that? How do you believe that? Can, can, you, can you explain that? Okay, okay, good question. Uh, somebody on team A want to answer? I think Moyu's question is is okay. if if yeah if 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 you don't have the system meaning if you don't have the political system if you don't have the legal system if you don't have the uh, other things that are necessary to achieve equality how can literacy be enough? Yeah, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. Go, yeah, go ahead Imad, okay, go ahead. okay. I said that yeah, literacy is a keyword and it's important, but it's it's not enough in order to, to empower or to to defend on some ideas, especially when it comes something related to religion or related to culture, because people try to keep this culture, try to be conservative, and especially when it comes also to, to religion, it means no one can change the idea, because the religion sometimes is very restrict and cannot go over the limits. So in, in order to achieve the idea of promoting illiteracy, it depends on the people. And hence comes the literacy. Why people nowadays, it means if we can consider the rate between the recent time and in the past, we say that in the past, more than 50% of girls doesn't follow their education. But nowadays, only even in the in the countryside, we only find a, a, a small rate of girls who can't follow their education. Let's say five percent or ten percent maximum in some rural areas. Why? Because of literacy. Since literacy come and the advanced of of these technologies, people now can 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 able to continue their studies. And since we we are promoting more. Literacy, we promote more to have uh, to give the 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 right for girls to continue their their uh, their studies. Okay, <clears throat> did, 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 okay. So that was your response to Moyu's question. Okay, uh, so so because Team B had a chance to ask a question, Team A, did you have a question you want to ask Team B? If not, we'll go to Team C. If not, we'll go to Team C. So, okay, let's go to Team C. So, Johnny, we have you. I think we lost Saif a long time ago. Yeah, we lost Saif. <laughs> uh, CS is here, but I think he was also away for a while, so I don't think he heard everything everybody said. Uh, so, Johnny, I'm going to put it on you. Um, okay? Chen <laughs> Desfar, can you hear us? Chen Desfar. Okay. I said go, go. that. I said, so, so I told him. Yeah. Never mind. Go ahead, Johnny. Go ahead. Okay. So I took notes. Um, uh, so I just need to reorganize. So you say the Habib was in Team B, right? Ah, uh, yes. Habib okay. was in Team B. Uh -huh. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so what I heard on Team A, I heard from Rashid that if women have access to education, they will have more information in general. I think his argument was a, a little bit uh, choppy and a, a little bit messy, uh, but I got the, the general idea. Uh, and I heard Christina saying that education is the most important tool which can help us make better decisions. Uh, I, I like that idea. I like that idea. Her argument was a little bit short, though, uh, a little bit un unorganized, and it would have been, I think, uh, longer if she she had some problems finding the right words or the right vocabulary. If she could, she could have um, give us some examples of what she said uh, that will give us a. A better idea, or if she can illustrate that. Um, I heard from Jamie. He said that provides education uh -oh. provides more uh, opportunities. Yep. Um, yes, uh, I didn't know 
well, it wasn't clear for me at least the opportunities for what exactly. So there are you for uh, for um, advancement advancement, that, advancement. Okay. Advancement. So maybe some some short example would have been you know clearer. And then he said that knowing how to really right. make a person happier and more aware of what happens around the world. Um, I agree with that. I agree with that. And then I heard Imad saying that in order to communicate with people, one need to know how to read and write. Uh, he said that without education, nothing can be achieved. And a strong society needs education as the most important pillar. And successful society relies on literacy as their foundation. Foundation. Uh, I think I, I can agree with that. And then I heard in Team B, Moyu saying that education is the key for personal growth, uh, so sort of speaking. Uh, he was speaking about education in general as um, the factor that um, it has the more impact on, on achieving perhaps uh, gender equality and promoting equality in general in everything not just gender equality among all people uh, he gave example of work policies that help women uh, I heard from him too many ideas I think and for me at least it was not clear enough um, it was good but it was not clear meaning it was not organized perhaps it was not structured so maybe a little bit of the structure, you know, following like the, the when, what, and how perhaps would have helped knowing uh, the key points, because it was a little bit like a salad. <laughs> and I heard from Ibrahim that there are some people who don't read a lot and they gain wisdom through experience, for example. I think that I can agree with that too. Um, and finally, I, I have Habib who said that morality, for instance, comes from within. Uh, it's something that can't be taught in school. Uh, he says that languages open doors. Um, he pointed out some problems he's in his country, like arranged marriages, uh, which constitute a problem for the emper emper empowerment of women. And in order to achieve gender equality, uh, there are many things to consider, and literacy is just one part of it. Um, I think I can agree with that too. So I think both of them did a very, very good job. But this time I would vote for Team B. Yep. Okay, congratulations, oh, I'd like to, Team I'd B. Like to say something here. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. Congratulations, oh, I, Team I, B. I have, to, I have to defend. I have to defend myself. I have to defend. Wait, 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 wait. Rush it, rush it. Okay, okay, wait, okay. So, so, why don't we first of all congratulate both teams for participating? Okay, so congratulations to both teams for participating. Um, yeah. And uh, what I wanted to before you speak, Rashid, before you speak, I want to go ahead and provide my feedback real quickly as well. I'm not voting. John, Johnny voted. But I'm before not your voting. feedback, I, I need to say something, Richard. So, uh, you okay. What is, it, what, is it, what is it you have to say, my, Rashid? My point is I, what I said that um, literacy can, um, I mean, if, um, women have literacy, they can have information. If you don't have information, what sort of jobs you can do, or what sort of rights you have? So mm -hmm. how will I, how will you apply for for equal um, treatment? Uh, how will you um, uh, try to uh, bargain your, uh, your 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 rights <coughs> on your rights on your job uh, on your job rights? So it's necessary for. Um, women to have information and without literacy because they can if they have literacy they can read newspapers they can read uh, many informative um, uh, I mean uh, tools I mean use informative tools but without literacy it's not possible that's why I say that literacy um, um, helps them to be uh, to, uh, to get proper information in, in high t in suitable time and when it's necessary that's why I, I, I said this. You know? okay. okay, thank you very much. Okay, 
Well, well, you know, the thing is, okay, so let me go ahead and throw my, my feedback in real quickly. Then we have a lot of other people that are here that we want to give the opportunity to speak as well. I, nobody, <clears throat> excuse me, nobody said that. I don't think anybody said that literacy is not important. I think everybody agrees that it's very important. I think everybody would agree that. The challenge with this topic, and the reason why this is not an easy topic, it's not, okay? Uh, because... We have to consider all the other aspects of what it takes to achieve equal opportunity, to achieve equality, okay? And and something, I, I agree that Moyu was somewhat, he said a lot of stuff, and this is the problem when you say a lot of stuff. Sometimes it's hard to get your head around so many things. But one of the things I thought that, that Team B did was they framed it in such a way that if I use a metaphor, okay, Somebody could give me a hammer, but if I don't know how to build a house, the hammer doesn't do me any good, okay? Somebody could give me a fishing pole. If I don't know how to fish, that fishing pole doesn't do any good. So literacy is a tool, right? It's a tool we have to achieve other things. But without, without having a cultural opportunity, without having uh, legal opportunity, without having political opportunity, without having, you know, uh, you know, opportunity in other parts of your life, it's just a tool that doesn't get used. It gets put inside of a shelf and sits there. It never gets used. So the point I think that Team B was making is literacy is very important, critical, critically important. But without these other things and without the opportunity to be able to use that tool, it's, it's something that is, it's a tool, but again, a tool is useless unless you're using it, right? That's the purpose of having a tool. That's the purpose of having a hammer to build a house, a fishing pole to, to fish in the sea, right? Um, so I think that was the point they were making. And I think, I think that's a really good point. Uh, you know, people can say, well, it's the most important tool. And I do agree, Rashi, with something you just said that, and, and Imad said as well, that you can provide the opportunity, but if you don't have the necessary tool or the necessary skills, that opportunity doesn't mean anything, right? So, so it works both ways. I think both of these things, in my opinion, are equally important. One is not necessarily more important than the other. They're all necessary for society to work, okay? But anyway... Um, so these, these questions are hard. These questions are hard. These topics are hard because you can look at it a lot of different ways. Okay. Uh, and I think that again, think of it like a tool. That tool is useless unless you know how to use it. Right. <laughs> I mean, right. I think most people would agree with that. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I can read. Okay, so why don't we do this? Sir, uh, if you allow me, then I will uh, make one point here. Sure, go ahead. Uh -huh. Because go ahead. Habib. Yeah, so so uh, like example, I will give you give you an example. Like if I have uh, like five people, and if I say like this people is most significant one, I and I, I need these people, then uh, you know others others uh, people won't work for me. So. Technically, we have to focus in everything. We, we, we cannot say that, every, I mean, one is most significant and other is a little bit useless. And uh, what, what is here, like, uh, like our, our, our world is modern, but, uh, you know, nowadays we are getting more and more, um, like, om, om, women ha harassment or uh, ip teasing or something like that in Asian country and also all over the world. And, you know, most of the time we heard from, BBC, we heard from our uh, national channel, TV channel. So the it is it is really really some of the problems are are creating. Uh, those are really really uh, important. And uh, what is here is working. I guess uh, it's about politics, not uh, like uh, you know just uh, study studying or like literacy all the time. Because if I say like. Uh, if I say that uh, our previous wo world or previous centuries wasn't uh, literate, then it would be really foolish foolishness because, you know, we have got a lot of uh, scientists, writers, some uh, like famous scientists, writers in our previous centuries rather than this century. So that's why technically we have to say that uh, 
our our previous centuries uh, was uh, were also like literate, but the problem is that we are getting harassment, if teasing, or some se sexual matters nowadays more because of uh, like some uh, you know violence and politics. And what we need here, we need some power uh, empowerment for all women to wrap all this up uh, for for in this case, uh, and you know. It, it, it doesn't depend on the school or university. Uh, yes. Okay, okay, thank you. thank you. Thank you, Habib. Thank you, well done. So what we wanna do is we wanna give the people that have not yet had the opportunity to speak, we wanna give all of you the opportunity to speak. So uh, let's go back to, uh, let me see, Sharam, you're not here anymore, I don't think. We lost you. Uh, we have, uh, we lost Rajano. Hali, would you like to speak, please? <laughs> Johnny, do you see my message? Uh, where? Hello. Oh, in the chat? Oh, it's in the chat box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I'm gonna be back in just a moment, okay? Okay, who's okay? next? So, uh, Hali, it's his turn. Then we have Khalid is next. Okay. okay. I think if he's here. Uh, if not, if not, we have uh, Jir Karn is also here. Okay. Okay. And we have Hiroki. And we have Eugene. And we have uh, Aman. Okay. Right. So I'll be back in just a moment, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, Halil, okay. are you there? Uh, let's see. Um, can you hear me? Halil. Halil, are you there? Halil. <laughs> are you with Halil, us? Halil, I see him, but he's not here. All right. <laughs> Maybe he's in another universe, Johnny. Another universe. Yeah, maybe he's away a little bit. Oh, what is the matter is going on? Hello, I, Aman. I don't check on the website. You didn't go to the website? Mm. Oh. Mm. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh, no, no. I didn't check. The debate's over. The debate's over. Yeah. Because uh, I'm a very busy. Oh, right. Many, 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 many stuff. So that. Uh, uh. So tell me. All right, so we're talking about literacy and like, you know, the effects of, you know, knowing how to read, how to write, the, the impact that will have on society and on achieving, for instance, uh, gender equality or okay. uh, through that you, you may have more opportunities, you know. Do you have any thoughts on this? Mm. I think no. <laughs> uh, let me let me make it simpler. Do you think that literacy <laughs> is the the only way to achieve gender equality, for oh. example? Or is there any other way? Mm -hmm. Example, please. Uh it's woman. Ah, uh, yeah. You uh, talk about uh, gender equality as a man and woman uh, is uh, um, in my status levels is Hoshiar uh, was firstly and last month. Uh, oh my gosh, you talk about gender equality. Yeah. Oh, I think. But I don't have materials. God. Okay. <clears throat> Are you okay there? <laughs> oh. I Are you there? <laughs> 
yeah <laughs> okay 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 is everything okay actually i am thinking about some questions actually calls mostly uh, uh no 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 this not is correct uh maybe actually i search only state level okay not india level okay all right i thinking is a little bit okay so that uh, according to me it's my opinion and uh, i search on searching on the internet uh, uh, almost girls pack and men faster and gender equality is uh, um, mm-hmm. girls girls not Pre- uh, no 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 uh, would no oh my gosh i have not seen chance i may confuse a little bit okay but you can do it you can do it man come on come on you can do it yeah i do okay 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 boys almost uh, no, actually um, my punjab levels is uh, your punjab state uh, is very weak in the, uh, writing and um, reading and everything because uh, 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 maybe i think uh, not uh, um uh, is weak in education levels and uh, not uh, another way, another thing and uh, but uh girls this is 85 and uh, no 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 ha uh, i am checking the google again then answer you <laughs> give you answer in the google okay <laughs> check in the google then the google world oh, yeah my best friend no it's okay it's okay take your time i mean uh, it's okay you have to yeah, yeah. you have to make yourself comfortable aman do you want How us yeah. to to to, to go to actually... another person while you prepare to give you time uh-huh. it would be better i yeah. guess Yeah. So yeah. So why don't we do this? Um, you, yeah. you can search that Aman, and meanwhile we will let uh, another person this? speak, yeah. and then we can go back to you. Okay. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you. Yeah. So um, let's hear from Hiroki. Are you with us? Yeah. Yes. Hello. Yeah, he's here. All right. Thank you, Amal. Yeah, by the way, thank oh. you. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. yes we can hear you, Hiroki. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Hiroki. Tell us what you think about this topic. Yes, I think the literacy, uh, you know, promoting literacy is uh, yeah one of the most <coughs> significant impact on achieving gender equality. Yeah, also equality of people because we you know mm, getting a lot of information by letters or characters or such kind of writing document also gadgets uh, nowadays people many people can get gadget but uh, if they cannot read uh, it's very difficult to you know use that gadget I used uh, my smartphone you know let Kindle to read mm-hmm. but uh, in Android system is very complicated to use it actually so it's not easy to handle uh even though they can you know listen to the sound or something but uh, so but in in such sense as yeah i think uh the literacy is the most one of the most significant impact on achieving gender equality Yeah. Also, so also maybe how can I say? It? Mm, they can mm, maybe they uh, 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 traditional people think you know ha- 
reading information and listening information or currently information like you know a text message short text message uh, kind of thing uh, think differently maybe in my impression nowadays people can get uh, information partially uh, on smart uh, you know social media uh, uh, without context sometimes it's causing a problem or confusion but uh, before that even before that That's maybe at least uh, you know they can read so they can get in more information than people who cannot read also it's a uh, beneficial safety issue because I uh, I heard you know in uh, some countries uh, mother uh, since mother couldn't read so sometimes they misunderstand how the dosage of the medicine for kids or uh, by themselves so it's also a beneficial that safety issue actually it's not a gender issue but uh, both men and women, maybe at, you know, it's significant impact of of achieving such safety issues too. Right. You you mentioned something there that uh, made me made me think about something. You said that you know sometimes we we get some kind of information that it is confusing. You say that that makes me think of you know. Um, that ah. A lot of information, uh, often time that we they would get from everywhere, it's not always you know accurate mm -hmm. or good or true. So uh, right. I would like to ask you. Um, exactly. I, I mean, even if you know how to read and how to write, does that mean that everything you read and mm -hmm. everything you write is true, accurate, and good, or can you learn about you know what is good, what is bad, or what to do with the information right. without, you know, relying on writing and reading for that? Or, I mean, can you get that right. knowledge from right. some other source? Yeah. From uh, source? You know, in the past, you know, people have to read the newspaper to get the information, but nowadays people just uh, read shortly in a short sentence. In the, in the also a lot of because of the lot of information, so sometimes that's uh, I think one of the uh, you know the reasons why fake news became a big problem on the internet. So people uh, just get the information without context. But but if you cannot read, maybe that's the next step of uh, after people master reading or writing. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know people who cannot read and write. They cannot get any information, you know, uh, by using such right sure? uh, you know, you sure? kind I mean, of I mean, digital can information. You know, can you know about something without having to read about it? Because, like, like, like we said before, not everything that you read is true, for instance, or good. So, is isn't there any other way that you can deal with, for instance, fake information or bad information or misinformation? Is there any other way to deal with that? Um, maybe uh, to get uh, accurate information, maybe we need to take some effort. Mm -hmm. uh, also, fake information usually stimulates our emotion or sensationalism kind of scandal thing. Mm -hmm. So, that kind of feeling. I felt I uh, doubt whether it is true or not. Also, maybe nowadays mass media is uh, maybe people distrust began to be distrust mass media, but some mass media still rely on also free freelance journalism is also useful. Maybe to check maybe your trust maybe check. to check your trust yeah. was made to check if you find it and. And then maybe, uh, yeah, maybe possibly you can get the context is better than you know just getting information yeah. as a no, frag no. fragment no, information. No. Fragment. All right. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, Hiroki. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Uh,
let's see if uh, Eugene, are you here? Uh, let Can you speak, Eugene? Eugene? Argentina calling to Eugene. Maybe he's not here. Okay. So, um, and we also. Hello, base. Oh, there you are. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, my smartphone wasn't my uh, back. Wasn't responding. Uh, yeah, I get that problem too. Um, would you like to tell us what you think about this? Hello. I... <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I don't hear you. Uh, oh. Can, can you guys hear me well, or am I breaking up? Yes, I can listen. Yes, you. yes, yes. No, it's not. Uh, it's not breaking. Okay. You're speaking perfectly. Speaking okay. Perfectly. All right. So, uh, Eugene, okay. can you hear me now? Bye. Yep, I hear you. All right. So we want to hear you instead. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, ahead, but actually, actually, uh, guys, um, uh -huh. I a long time uh, didn't. Uh, I long time not joined to this conversation, and actually, uh, this is first time after long period, and I'm not. Sh Actually, I'm not really prepared for this uh, discussion today. Uh -huh. If I know you are discussing uh, gender uh, equality, right? And how uh, education uh, affect this uh, this as aspect of our uh, so society, right? Right, right. It's something like that. We basically, right. what, what we are saying like is that how knowing how to write, how to read, would help you, for instance, achieving gender equality or having equal opportunity in all sense for all people. You know how literacy helps people achieve these things. You know how how important is literacy? That's what we are talking about. Any thoughts on that? Oh. Any thoughts? Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, I have something. Uh, I have some in my mind about this point. But, uh, hello. Yes. Would you like to share it with us? Actually, hello guys, can you please mute microphone? Hey, Aman, can you mute your microphone, please? Okay, there you go. Oh, welcome back, there you Rick. Go. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so let me try to talk about it a bit. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the very important to understand uh, where from this problem came. Uh, this problem basically is uh, caused by uh, religion and uh, things like this, because um, in many in many culture, uh, women's is not really uh, women's uh, didn't have uh, the same rights as men's and this is uh, came from directly came from religion things and I think um, how to say I think education may help us to achieve equality gender equality but at the same time we should uh, Account uh, religion uh, factor in uh, different uh, cultures, mm -hmm. because uh, in in European culture, uh, religion al religion already uh, don't have such uh, power. Uh, how to say? Oh my God! <laughs> don't have. Uh, don't have the same uh, uh, 
Uh, one second, please. In what? Oh my god. I in forgot fun. this word. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Influence, influence. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Exactly, exactly. Influence, yeah. Because uh, in European cal uh, culture and maybe in uh, in most other cultures, uh, religion already don't have such influence as before. And now there uh, there is... Uh, um, there is um, uh, no problems, a lot of problems with the gender equality. Uh, the so society, they try to uh, achieve this uh, gender equality and nobody uh, thinks that it's wrong. But at the same time we have um, um, cultures where Women still has not the same rights as uh, as men, and only reason I see why it's happening uh, today. This is uh, uh, like traditional, like traditions and uh, religion uh, for every culture uh, specifically. Yes, and I think education may uh, uh, really help to solve this problem, but we should in we should account religion and traditions at the same time because it's really important for people, uh, for each culture. All right. Yeah, this is my point. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, thank you, Eugene. Thank you for that. Um, Rick? Yes? Did you have anything to share <laughs> with us about this topic? Any... Well, I, I think I, I just strongly believe that, again, as I said earlier, that all, you know, and, and I don't want to repeat myself, but again, literacy is a do. tool. Literacy is a tool. Unless you know how to use a tool, yeah. unless you have the opportunity to use a tool, you know, uh, a tool is, is just a tool. So you need to have the knowledge how to use it. You need to have yeah, the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think a perfect society is a society where all people have the opportunity to get a, a quality education and have opportunity to participate in that yeah. society, whether it be, yeah. again, from a political standpoint, whether it be from an economic standpoint, <clears throat> from a, a cultural standpoint, that to me is my definition probably of a perfect society. So, yeah, but Rick, uh, there's no well, such well, thing well, as well, perfect well, 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 let me, let me finish, please. Let me Sorry. finish. Sure. <laughs> so, okay. so, so I know there is no such thing as perfection. I recognize there, but, so, but, but we should try to still achieve it. It should be a goal to try to achieve. We may never get there because you're right. Perfection is 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 not you know perfection is perfection. But we should still uh, you know strive to achieve that. So again, it's about creating that opportunity for people, giving them you know, the tools that they need to participate fully, fully in, this, in that society. That to me is the right answer. Uh, it's not necessarily about which one is more important because they're all important. They're all important. Um, and just how much, how much, and I think it was Imad or somebody made a comment earlier <clears throat> that, you know, if you look at a, a uh, society that's successful economically and other ways, uh, it's usually a society where quality education is made available for people, right? Uh, that's usually the society that does, that achieves the most, okay? Uh, but it's not just, again, it's not just the schools. It's having the opportunity to get a job. It's having the opportunity to be a manager, regardless whether you're black or white or female or male or straight or gay. You know, it, it doesn't matter. You know, it's all about having that opportunity and using that knowledge you gain. Okay? That's all I have to say, Johnny. All right. All right. Okay. So it's like, you know, knowing. I'm here, by the way, guys. I oh, you're start. back. Yeah. Khalil. Uh, I would like to 
<laughs> yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah. So I remember Richard was telling me to part of it. Yeah, thank you. And I was out, but I'm back now. Well, now that you are back, uh, would you like to share your thoughts about this? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. And thank you, um, Rick, by the way. Uh, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I have I have to agree with the the point that says ge like literacy does promote gender equality, but about uh, opportunity that that literacy promotes uh, equality in opportunities. I, I don't agree with that. Well, first of all, about gender equality, I think in in this term, I think li literacy does play a very important role here, whereby men and women are equally able to read and write, like both participate in the development of the society. In the past, we didn't have this. Women used to stay at home, cleaning the house, cleaning the dishes, uh, just helping their mothers and are not able to go outside. When men go outside and seek for knowledge and have given no place for or a chance to women to take part of it, they were believing that women are like in, in, unable to learn uh, or help in constructing the society. But nowadays, men and women are being able to read and write, which means both men and women help in the development of the society. Both can take jobs and both can, can do things that would build up the society. In the term of uh, uh, gender, uh, I mean, uh, literacy, uh, promote uh, quality in, in the opportunities, I don't think that, because beside, uh, beside literacy, there are other skills that have to be added to give you a specific opportunity. So being able to read and write would not give you the same opportunity as someone else's uh, ability in reading and writing. No, so you had to you have to have other things uh, added to your uh, literacy so that you can have another job uh, opportunity. Because jobs opportunities are not the same based on your literacy, but based on other things. So literacy alone will not give you equality in opportunities. Yeah, that's what I think. I'm speechless. Very well said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, for once, Johnny's speechless? Whoa. Call the, pa call the papers. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Well, I don't know what okay. to say. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to say now. April 28, uh, 2018. Johnny is speechless. North the presses. North is. North the Dane is. Just kidding, Johnny. You, you know we love you. So Johnny, did did everybody else like Jared Karn and everybody else get a chance to speak? Um, I was uh, asking uh, or Ramon, Ramin and and I I know I see that Ser Serge or Sesh Sesh or Serge. Yes, yeah, Sesh. Join. Hello, my name is Sesh. Uh, Sesh or Serge? Khalil. I just wanted to ask um, about some saying. Uh, very popular in Russia. It is said that uh, not uh, literacy makes people equal, makes uh, women and men equal, but all uh, men are made equal by a gun, some weapon. So uh, in the United States, all people are equal because everyone uh, has an opportunity to have a gun well. it's, a, it's a very uh, not very popular but some people say like this can uh, somebody uh, explain things to me maybe I am wrong maybe I uh, have heard something uh, understood not rightly not it's proper not properly. Guns would make you very unpopular research um, what would make a person popular is their their personality, their their intelligence, and the way they act. I mean, <clears throat> there's a um, uh, there's a um, <clears throat> there's a portion of what uh, a document we call the Declaration of Independence that goes, "We hold these truths to be self-evident that all all men or all mankind is created equal, that they're endowed with by their creator with certain unalienable rights." That amongst mm -hmm. these are life, liberty, and the pursuit mm -hmm. of happiness. In mm -hmm. other words, uh, we should, in order to be to be popular uh, or to to be uh, happy, we should uh, pursue the things uh, that that uh, were given to us. And also, 
being literate is, you know, is, a, is, is a good thing. But if you want to be, quote, popular, you have to learn, you have to know how to act. And also being literate will open up uh, many doors for you. I mean, if you don't know how to read, you won't be able to understand the world. You won't, you won't be uh, as happy as uh, you were. Um, I mean, you know, you, you could be happy as a kid when you when you don't know how to read, but being able to read uh, will, will make you able to understand, you know, the, the very documents of the world and also understand what people are, are saying. And also, you know, what, learning how to read will, will make you smarter. And I think intelligence is probably the the best thing that that that, that get, and best gift that we can, we can give ourselves knowledge. But 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 I think Jamie, I think where he's coming from because I've heard it before too. So so what I think he's saying is that we think of in terms of a weapon, yeah. uh, as an equalizer. Okay. So mm-hmm. for a woman, okay. for example, my my daughter has a gun. Okay, I have. Oh. So, so we think we think in terms of, of weapons uh, for particularly for people that maybe can't defend themselves any other way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we think in terms of making them making them equal to a man, but it's different. Such it's a little bit different. Okay? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think I think what you're talking about. Yeah, people have said that here that that a weapon gun is an equalizer because no matter how weak you are, no matter mm-hmm. if you're a man or woman. Well, well, I mean, it, 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 you know, if used for the right reason, you can defend yourself and protect yourself. Okay, if used for the right reason. Okay, mm-hmm. so I think that's that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 so, I, 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 well, let me, let me ask. Okay, so that's, is that what you're talking about? So, uh, weapon is a tool, and uh, uh, education is a tool too. Right. right. So, uh, yeah. All things equalizes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but one can kill you. Uh, right, right. But I mean, I'm I'm a I'm a gun owner, and, and I and yeah, I like, yeah. guns, and and I think that again, it, it's a, a hammer can kill somebody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a knife can kill somebody. You could use a knife to cut up your food to eat. Yeah. Or you could use a knife to hurt somebody. You know, a gun can be used to protect you, or it can be used to hurt somebody. Yeah, you know, yeah. a hammer can be so so a car, right? Look at what's yeah, happening yeah. in many places in the world. So, yeah. you know, but I I think the but but such I think they're both you know education is and as, as Jamie was saying I think it is you know the point that it is a equalizer in terms of opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Right. If you have somebody that that has the same. Uh, knowledge and the same educational level, yeah. whether you're a man or woman, whether you're black or white, whether you're gay or straight, you it's know, it's, it's, it's all about your, your ability. Yeah. So, you know, that's what it comes down to. Right. And uh, another remark I wanted to uh, say, it's about an entirely different topic. For example, Eugene uh, Freeman has said that in some countries, uh, Men are privileged and have more rights than women. But now, for example, in Russia, women are privileged in comparison with men. Uh-oh. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, watch yes. Out. <laughs> you may be surprised, but it is the truth. It's God's honest truth. And uh, it's funny to uh, hear for me that women are under pressure and they have less rights than men because we in Russia have the contrary situation when women have more rights than men. It's if if you ask me, uh, can I prove that? Okay, I can easily prove that. For example, by saying that uh, uh, government give pension to women much earlier age than uh, men. For example, uh, age of uh, women to get the pension from government is uh, like uh, 55 years and only a man aged 60 years old can get a uh, pension. But I uh, unfortunately take up too time for myself. Sorry, it's just a little <laughs> remark for me. Sorry. No, that's, <laughs> Maybe that's... I uh, pull your conversation from <laughs> well, 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 yeah, to yeah. another no, it's a good one. That's interesting. So a woman, a woman can get her pension at fifty-five, but a man has to wait until he's sixty. 
Yeah. Yes, exactly. It's very oh, God, oh, it's, true. it's <laughs> Russia. It's Russia. <laughs> I don't know about Belarus. Uh, I think that Eugen uh, from Belarus and I don't know uh, what exactly age to get pension in uh, this um, country. Rick, uh, I have to go over something with Hiroki, uh, so we'll talk to you later. Are you ready, Hiroki? Okay. Right. Uh, bye. bye. Okay, bye bye. Okay, so so real quickly, I, I think uh, uh, Johnny. Before Maggie goes, did did uh, Eugene? Did you want to answer Sessions' question? In Belarus, do they have the same thing? Eugene, in Belarus, sorry. Is uh, it hello, hello, question? hello. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is, is it the same? Actually, uh -huh, go ahead. Oh, so, so, sorry, sorry. Co could you please? Um, uh, formulate a question because yeah. maybe I I did yeah thank you yeah what's the uh, yeah Eugen what? Eugen in Russia in Russian Federation men gets their pension at the age of sixty women yeah. get their pension at the age of fifty five what about Belarus is it clear my question Actually, is clear? Yep, yep. Um, actually, uh, nearly uh, we have a change in our um, in our government, which uh, increased uh, age of. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I forgot how to say. <laughs> well, do you speak? Do you speak Russian? Do you speak Russian? Did yep. You? Yeah. Try try telling uh, in Russian to Sesh. Maybe he knows. Uh, okay. Um, не недавно. Uh, Recently. Must <laughs> book. Somebody know Russian here? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure. Somebody does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, недавно у нас в законодательстве было изменение, и тоже изменили uh, этот um, пенсионный возраст. Uh, теперь женщины уходят uh, в 55, а uh, мужчины в 60. Как и, как so, the same story in Belarus now. Uh, women uh, get the pension in Belarus in the age of 55, and men get the pension in the age of 60. Oh, okay. So exactly the same in uh, Okay. Okay, interesting. Guys, 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 guys. Uh um but maybe it's uh, strange, but for example in in some um European countries uh как сказать пенсионный возраст? Oh, <laughs> age when people get their pension. Yes, exactly. Attention age. For example, in Germany, it's even more than in Russia, for example, or Belarus. In Germany, men go to. Uh, uh, in Germany, men have age attention age at uh, sixty-five or sixty-seven years. Uh, Women have. Uh, uh, same as as men's actually. This is really, really uh, gender equality because, because men's men and women. <laughs> oh, um, so it's not so. You're saying it's not good to be a guy in Russia or Belarus, huh? Sure. <laughs> well, of course, of course, I wouldn't change uh, my gender because of that, Tony. Of course. <laughs> Then move to Germany, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for uh, sharing that. So, Johnny, I think you said that Maggie wants to go. Yep. Johnny. Yep. Did Maggie want to go? Uh -huh. Want to go? Yes. 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 I I'd like to say something if you don't mind. 
talking about uh, uh, talking about uh, uh, age of uh, getting retired in uh, uh, Poland, <laughs> we are uh, neighbors of Germany as well as of Belarus. Also, Russia. Uh, uh, our uh, age of uh, uh, getting retired is uh, 65 for men, and nowadays 60 for women. So, uh, in this matter, I am really against equality <laughs> of gender because, uh, <laughs> as you can understand, I guess. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, going to topic to the topic. Um, I am. Uh, I am. I, uh, when I started uh, 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 to listen to your debate, uh, by the way, I found it really interesting, and I am really glad that I, I really could join it. Thanks, Johnny, for inviting me. So, uh, uh, when I started uh, to listen it, my first thought was: uh, my first thought was, uh, uh, of course, literacy is crucial uh, in making genders uh, equal. But then came the uh, next question. Actually, what is the basic reason why there is no equality between genders? And I think it is not lack of literacy. Uh, basically, it is uh, our natural uh, features the way how we created, we are not equally naturally, we, we, we are different. And the other reason is also our tradition and cultures, also uh, religions, someone mentioned it before, before me. Uh, so, uh, is, okay, it is, sorry. Uh, literacy, it is, uh, uh, it is a tool uh, to make equality, um, uh, to, to make differences, uh, uh, to make the distance um, um, shorter, but uh, it is not the, the primary tool to, to eliminate. Uh, so, uh, uh, if you, if you uh, want to ask me uh, which point of view uh, is uh, is more important for me, group A of group A or of group B? <laughs> uh, I am more with group B, I think, because uh, uh, literacy is important, but it is not most important. The question is what uh, what can uh, what can um, change our traditions, our natural natural features, is it anything like that that can change uh, us? If you, if, if you want me to say we are equal because I can study, because I, I, I can I take advantage of uh, education, it is okay. But if you want to say you can work in a mine, it is not okay. Thanks for equality then. So uh, it was just a joke, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, actually we are not even, we are not equal. Uh, and we should sure, we should uh, appreciate our differences, but of course uh, we also should be aware of our rights, as well as women, as well as men. And literacy is important to know the rights, but also uh, for men. And this is diff different dimension uh, to 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 appreciate differences. Not, and not to think our differences are um, are a disadvantage and makes women worse. Okay, I am not sure if you got my point of view, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that was very good. That was very good. You did a great job, and, and you bring up a really interesting point. You, you know, uh, nobody should ever say that men and women are the same. They're not the same. Okay, we're not the same. Okay, we have we have physiological differences. You know, there are there are you know, in society often there are we're not we're not the same. It's not about being the same. Nobody should say that. But it's about having the equal opportunity, right? That's that's the difference. Uh, 
And and I think you bring that point up, like you said, maybe you know. Again, we talked about this before. In some careers and some types of work, men are often more suited. Not always, not always, but in a lot of cases, men are often more suited to do certain things. And just like in other types of careers, so you know. But it's about having the opportunity. You know, if a woman, you know, in in literacy again. It's Good, I think, you know, literacy is a tool. It's not the only thing, though. Uh, it's just a tool, and it's how you are able to use that tool that really matters. Uh, you know, if again, in a society where everybody is educated, but there are not economic opportunities for people, uh, you know, uh, or if priority is given to men, even though the women are also educated, well, then literacy doesn't really help a lot, does it? You know, so so you need to also provide the opportunity along with providing a tool. Right? Yes, 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 I agree. Literacy gives opportunity, but this is but this is not the primary reason of lack of equality. So this is a tool, but this is not the uh, uh, lack of it. This is not the reason. Right, this is right. what I want to say. Yeah. Right, and, right. Uh, and we should uh, use it in different dimensions. I mean, we women and you men. Uh, we women uh, should know that we have rights, and we uh, we have rights to for education, to uh, to um, to choose jobs and so on. Uh -huh. uh, but also, you men should uh, should know that. Um, uh, we are not, uh, not uh, less smart. <laughs> right, right, right. We right. have, we have, uh, uh, maybe we have different skills and uh, 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 different uh, natural, I mean, natural skills. Uh, mm -hmm. But, uh, but um, actually, um, um, even if we are not equal, uh, I mean, not the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still equal to achieve the same goals. Mm -hmm. I mean, in in terms of society, in terms of uh, growing, um, uh, grow, uh, um, uh, developing. Right, right, right. <clears throat> well, some somebody said something earlier. Um, I can't remember who it was, but somebody talked about the role that economic independence has. Um, you know, again, when we think about the becoming literate, having economic opportunity, you know, to work, uh, and then be becoming economically independent, where you don't have to count on uh, somebody to take care of you because you have the ability to take care of yourself. Uh, that's that's a that's a big factor as well. And for many people in many parts of the world, they don't have the economic independence, right? Um, you know, they they don't they don't have a choice. They they have to be in a situation because they don't have any options. You know, uh, a healthy society is a society where people, if if they choose to not work, they don't have to work. If they choose to work, they can work. Okay, but it's not because they have to, but because they choose to. Choice choice is so interesting um, and such an important concept that when you choose to do something, it's much different than having to do something, okay? So it's really important that we think about the word choice when we think about these kind of things. Hello, um, Richard. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I, well, I, I, I like to, okay, sorry. Go ahead, Maggie, or, or uh, Rashid, which one? Well, I, well, let me just conclude with a joke. Okay. Okay. If you uh, if you have a job and you earn money, and uh, your wife is just a housewife, and if you uh, uh, come from work and she brings you a, a dinner, tell me who takes care of whom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a very important point. Okay. So, Rashid, you, so you had something. Richard, what I think that actually, um, if you don't, I mean, 
um, every, uh, I mean, women, men, and able-bodied and disabled people, they all are the part of human diversity. Um, so, it, 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 we have to admit it that um, we don't um, recognize each, um, we, we don't try to, uh, we should not try to um, give anybody's identity like his chosen woman and he's a disabled person or something like that because we all are equal and uh, you know even uh, people some uh, there there was stereotype conception that women don't uh, cannot do this sort of work or that sort of work but nowadays that sort of conception proved wrong and it, it can also be applicable for disabled people for visually impaired people also yep, due to yep. the a in the age of technology, uh, disabled people, all types of disabled people can do um, almost the same thing, but in different ways. Yeah. Suppose you can read and write. I also can read, but I can read with screen readers. I mm -hmm. can read with with uh, another method, but at least I can read. Yes. But if you, uh, you uh, suppose you are in a, in a ground, um, if you um, create environment for me, for a wheelchair person to run, to, to, to give a race, uh, to, to run uh, with equally with, uh, I mean, with non-disabled people, yes, he or she will be able to do, but for them, you have to create this env the, uh, the environment. And I suppose the technology developers, can have huge, I mean, uh, instrumental role to create a level playing field for all types of people through over all over the world. Thank you. It's my <clears throat> yeah. No, and I think and I think Rashid, you bring up a point that when we think about equality, we can't we can't only think in terms of uh, gender, or we can't think only in terms of our ethnicity or race. You know, we have to think in terms of all aspects, all aspects of equality, which means, you know, people, some people have disabilities, right? Uh, some people come from, you know, uh, uh, people uh, come from families that live in poverty, okay? So when we think about, you know, opportunity, we have to think from a broad perspective, all aspects of equality, right? Not just, you know, men and women or black or white, or we have to think about all aspects of equality for all people. So you bring up a really good point, Rashid. Did anybody else have anything that they wanted to say? I, I know, Johnny, I think we went a little bit over. I think we have, uh, so Funda, are you here, Funda? <coughs> Hello, Rick. Yes, I'm here. Hey, how are you? Thank you. I'm lost uh, for a long time. Yes, Today, a, long, uh, a long time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my English is very bad. Uh, I can't uh, make practice for, for a long time. And today, my first day. Okay. And so, today, I want to just listen, if you don't mind. Okay, well, actually, we started about two hours ago, so we're almost done. Okay, <laughs> we're almost done. <laughs> well, but, but I would really encourage you, I would really encourage you to try and join us on Wednesdays and Thursdays and Fridays. Uh, I would really encourage you. It's been a long time, and it's nice to hear you again. Um, when the start session. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I started working uh, the last term. I was jobless and I can join. I could join the call. Have this. <laughs> oh, we have men and women and people that different ethnicities. And that's what makes it so special, you know, and, and that's why even if people can come once, then they have to go away and they come back later on. That's OK. You know, that's all I'm trying to say. All right. OK, so listen, uh, everybody. Thank you so much for participating. Uh, if you want to, Johnny. If I can play and talk with the people um, more um, someday, I will think that um, I, I will understand my English is already improved. And that's why I play a game with you alongside talking with people. Some, uh, and 
at least I can I I have I I listen to uh, their conversations with each other. But most of the time I don't talk, but I play game and I listen to their conversation. So, do you think that someday it will be very much helpful for me to improve my listening? Okay, uh, okay. Well, yeah, I I think anyway. Go ahead. Somebody say something. Go ahead. I mean, I mean, any way we can par any way we can practice uh, is good. No, no, that's okay. Any way we can practice is good. Okay. You know, I have a, a, a number of platforms. Like, uh, it's your group. One is your group, uh, and I have two platforms. Uh, two uh, other teachers, mm -hmm. and I have another a platform of um, Blind Cafe. Mm -hmm. It's a first chatting community. I have another uh, platform which is uh, uh, games galore and more, and it is game playing and voice chatting mm -hmm. community. And I have another platform, and it is mm -hmm. out of sight. It's also voice chatting and play, game, uh, play, uh, game, uh, game, uh, playing game community. Okay. Okay. And those uh, platforms, um, I try to be active, well, including good. Well, your good. group. Well, good, so, good. I think people should try to do as much as they can. I really do believe that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, so listen, we're going to go now, but again, thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank you everybody for participating, uh, really appreciate it, thank you Johnny for hosting a call, really appreciate it, and all of you, take care of yourselves, uh, have a good weekend, and we will update the schedule uh, the next day or two, so you'll see our topics for next week, so be safe, be happy, be healthy, okay? All right. So Richard, uh are you free on uh, Sunday, I mean, uh, 18 hours minutes mean time to take part in any talk show? Uh, send, me, send me a private message. I'm, I'm, I've got to go do something. Send me a private message, okay? Okay, I will okay. send you a private okay. message. Okay. On okay. Sunday, there's a talk show every Sunday, okay. and okay. I'd like you to join sometime. <laughs> okay, okay, well, send me a message, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. 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 Adios. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Thank bye you bye. very much. Thank you.